Good day, YouTube. Uh, today we're gonna install the ConverterLit. It's a software to convert uh, anything from DVDs to MP3s to any format that you wish. Uh, as you can see, I already have it installed. It's right here in the left in the bottom corner. Um, so let's get started. ConverterLit is easy download and installed. This is gonna be a step-by-step -step with snapshots. Okay, first step would be you can go to Google, type it in, convert a lid, all in one word, or you can go to the link that I will be providing you. This would be a direct link to the website. Uh, I will be showing you the website, how it, it looks like, so don't worry about that. As you can see, this is the result that you get on Google. Uh, I like the work, you can see exactly what I have, and then it'll be the first link when you pop it. I have it in the next tab, so I'm just gonna click over. As you can see, very simple. Covidlit.com, and you just have to click download. And now we're gonna go back to the step-by-step -step guide. As you can see, we're back to step three, which when you click on that download button on the uh, browser, it will pop up this prompt. Welcome to Convert Setup Wizard. You just have to click next. And the next uh, prompt will be the license agreement, as you can see in the next uh, screenshot. Every software does need to uh, do an agreement with the person that's installing it to the computer. So just click next and follow it step by step procedures. I will give you some additional information that you will be needing and will be useful for you don't add additional information. Step five would be uh, the next prompt up, uh, pop up, which as you can see, Everybody always clicks on the quick installations but by default. As you can see underneath it, it does add additional software. This additional software will take space and make your computer slower. So you will like to click advanced installation and then you click next. As you can see, it pops up underneath. Once you click on advanced installation, just remove the check marks and click next. After you remove it, the next prompt will be the same thing as uh, step 5. Um, it's going to say quick installation. You don't want that, you want to advance. As you can see, you can see the check marks, but until you click the, the advanced installation, it, it won't be visible for you to check out. So, next uh, screenshot will show you. I did remove it, and then you click next. Uh, step number seven will be the final agreement, which is basically saying information about the company. Have to have that check. Without that check, you can install it. So click next. And step eight will be the prompt where you see uh, installing on your computer. After this uh, prompt, it will automatically pop up on your computer and you will have it on your computer. So once this is done, just as you can see, it'll be as simple as this format. You'll be able to uh, you convert anything from audio, video, CD, or DVD format. And that'll be all. Thank you for your time.